Over 50 Hoboken residents, restaurateurs, and business owners attended a special meeting held by City Council to learn more about the possibility of repealing the 500-foot rule. While all City Council members wanted to listen to the major concerns of the city, a few already had formulated their own opinions regarding the possibility of repealing the rule. It might be that we're going to create some sort of hybrid approach because I do think that the way things are right now, it doesn't work for all parts of town, it doesn't work for all parts of the community. Uh, there's definitely an interest from citizens across Hoboken to kind of uh, spread out the restaurants, the commercial uses, the, the types of uses you only get when you have a liquor license across the town. There's also a concern with us possibly making even a, a higher um, density of the, the liquor licenses in certain parts of town where there already is a high density, or and or losing uh, liquor licenses around places like around Church Square Park and places where if somebody has the ability to go up near the path train or, or down in the second ward, they might lose their license. So two things that I want to talk about. One, the 500 foot rule and whether or not it's striking down will actually make any difference to the vibrancy of our city. Uh, and I would argue that perhaps that it wouldn't be as much of a negative as, as, as many would think here. But two, the importance of zoning on our city. And I cannot disagree with Councilman Doyle more that our, the city's the zoning is dated, it is detrimental to every business in the city, and it's detrimental to our quality of life. And we have uh, very few uh, restaurant bar establishments in the western side of Hoboken, along First Street, along Jackson Street. Here we have three restaurants. Uh, and that's before uh, we lost love and soul. And one of the, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have this conversation. I was willing to listen to everyone because uh, the, the neighborhood was quite upset when that happened because the options became somewhat limited in our neighborhood to get a bite to eat or just hang out with friends, a uh, quick drink, when the restaurant, or bar, or restaurant, the bar, was a good neighbor. It was Councilman at Large James Doyle and Third Ward Councilman Mike Russo who addressed the one concern of restaurateurs, bar owners, and residents regarding the increase of the number of liquor licenses if this was repealed. So, if we were to act to repeal the 500 foot rule, there will not be many more, any more bars opening in Hoboken. The theory would be bars might be moving around in Hoboken, but it will not inundate us with more bars. So we have protections in place already. What we would like to do, or at least in, in discussions uh, preliminarily, uh, what we would like to do is put more protections in place through the ABC board. We as the council would discuss what those changes would be, what they would look like, and then dictate to the ABC board as to how they're going to implement those rule changes. That is what I see so far. This is the very reason that we have the 500 foot rule in the first place. We want to make sure the restaurants spread out. If, you're, if there's room in the third and fourth ward for restaurants now, why aren't people going there? If you change the law and people have expensive licenses, they're not going to move back to the third and fourth ward. They're going to move to Washington Street because there's more foot traffic there. What happens in this town when there's nowhere to go is you, know, you have to stay where you are. And what happens then is the landlord gouges the rent. So it's not so choice uh, to the pasta. These people were price gouged by their landlord, and then you know they basically were out of business. And the landlord gets control of the license, and then they control it. A lot of damage has been done because of this law, and, and, and people need to understand that. I get closed down for an event space that opened at 3 o'clock for a party with a BYOB and closed at 6. So how do we, as a governed body, establish what the rules and regulations are going to be? We have to work together. We can't let it be controlled by council. We can't let it be controlled by the mayor. We have to have a voice. I love what you said. No one's disagreeing that this should not happen. What we're saying is, how is it going to happen? I heard a lot about quality of life issues here in Hoboken. Is the quality of life issue really about the late night uh, drunkenness and, and, and partying? Is that, by show of hands, is that really what, what we're talking about here? 
like more more about late night kind of things. Is that is that could kind of open up a whole other conversation too. I mean, we have you know hours of operation in the city of Hoboken, and if that's really an issue, then we should kind of look into that as well. Further discussion on possibly repealing the 500-foot rule will continue at the next City Council meeting on October 5th. Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.